Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes, yeah. I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? Great. Pretty good? Very good, teacher. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you for um, connecting on time. Um, how are you doing today? Pretty good? Yeah, no? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. We are fine. Everything okay. Good, good, okay. All right, we're, so we're almost at the end of the week. So just one more day and that's it. So that's good news, <laughs> right? Any, yes. uh, yeah, so, you know, we just have to hang, hang in there, you know, just a little bit and then we'll be fine. Okay, guys, well, um, how are you guys holding up with this heat? It's very hot, super hot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How is it, how is it uh, where you are? Is it um, like, is there anybody have like a cold weather? I know some people live in like high up in the mountains and you don't feel anything, but uh, most of us are here sweating, right? So are you guys, do you guys are also suffering for this, <laughs> this heat? Yeah, right? It's hot, yes. Oh, I know. Anybody here um, from like uh, Samuel, for example? Well, some of you are living in La Palma, Chalatenango. It's, oh, it's nice here in the, the so weather. You have, you have nice weather. Yeah. How, what, what's the weather like in, in, in La Palma? Um, the 28, 27. Oh, wow. That sounds like heaven. <laughs> wow, that's great. Wow, that sounds really, really good. Yeah. So this is the only moment in in you know in the year that I wish I didn't live here. Oh, it's just horrible. But that sounds very nice, very very nice. Yeah, that sounds. And and um, a, in what is the lowest temperature that that it goes down to right now? Like that mm -hmm. during the day, it's 27, 28. and during in at night. Uh, but now is 20, uh, 19, uh, 18, hmm. maybe. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sounds good. Okay. But now, uh, in December, this is like uh, uh, 12, uh, 14. Wow. 12, 14. Yeah. That's nice. That's very nice. Yeah. Okay, guys, welcome. Um, and let's uh, take attendance before we uh, get off track here. Um, Ana Claudia. Yes, here? teacher. Wonderful. Yes. And Andres Giovanni. Andres. No? Andres Giovanni is not here. Hmm, okay. Uh, Edgar. Edgar, are you there? No, Edgar, not here. Okay, um, all right, well, we'll continue then. Um, okay, uh, hold on, oh, I got lost. Okay. Um, okay, so we have a uh, Janet. Present teacher. Wonderful. Fabiola? Present teacher. Great. Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier? No? No, not at all? Okay. All right. Um, uh, Haiti? That's a teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Irene. Irene, 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 Irene. No, 
Ok. Um, eh, Josué Alberto. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. No. Ok. Um, Carla. Present teacher. Wonderful. <laughs> Melissa. Melissa? Melissa, no, okay, all right. Uh, Luis, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. Great, well Present. Okay, great. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Great, excellent. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Excellent, Marvin. Present teacher. Great, Wendy. Wendy. No Wendy? Okay. Uh, Werner. Y yo chulón voy a salir. Present teacher. Present. Um, teacher okay. present. Great. Thank you, Werner. Um, Noemi? Noemi? No, okay. Um, Yvonne. Present. Wonderful. Daniel? Daniel? Okay. Uh, Jorge Alberto? Uh, Marlene? Marlene? No. Okay. Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo? No. Okay. All right, guys. So just make sure that I haven't missed anybody. Andre Giovanni is not here. Uh, Francisco Javier. I, uh, Irene. Uh, Juan Francisco. Uh, Melissa? Here. Ah, Melissa's here. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Wendy? Uh, Noemi? Uh, Daniel? Jorge Alberto? Present teacher. Oh, oh okay. Very good. <laughs> Great. Jorge Alberto? No. Uh, Marlene? And Ricardo? All right, guys, so great. So we're going to start our class. Um, so how are you guys doing with the platform? Pretty good, not so good. No? Good or not so good? It's okay? Good. Good. It's okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. <laughs> Anything you want to ask? Not right now. No? Okay. No, I think after you clarify that some answers in the platforms are just the word, sometimes uh, we need to try the answers in yeah. that way. Yeah. Um, hold on. Actually, there was, uh, I just remembered that there was um, one that I wanted to clarify. Um, just give me a moment. Where is it? Um, let me just get it. Evening. Hi, who said good evening? Oh, Francisco, good. welcome. Welcome, welcome to our class. Um, um, okay. All right. Um,
Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, remember that you do need to be uh, doing the midterm as well. So the midterm, because it's in the middle of the class, valga la redundancia, la redundancia uh, we need to finish it uh, around uh, Monday. Okay. Um, okay. 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 All right. Um, Okay. All right. Um, I just, yeah, I think, I think uh, I'll explain that later. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is start with our PowerPoint presentation, introduce our class for today. So tell me when you can see the PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, great. So Today um, we have, um, it's beginner module five, it's unit two, unit two is directions and instructions. And the date is Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. And the date is number nine. Your facilitator is Jessica, Belen uh, Jessica Guerrero. So let's begin. Um, so, First of all, the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is we're gonna start with an interview. Yesterday, I asked you to make five questions. Remember, at the end of the class, we made five questions. Do you remember that? Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So that's exactly what, um, so it says here, write five questions asking about places that your classmates work. And I also ask you to use, is there and are there? Okay, so you have, everybody has five questions? Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Now we're gonna get into pairs, with, which is um, I'm going to assign you a partner in the breakout rooms. You're gonna ask them the questions. Okay, the questions that you created, you're gonna ask them. But not only are you gonna ask them, obviously you're gonna ask, they're gonna answer you and you're gonna write the answers that you get. Okay, so if, um, you know, if, your partner, if you ask your partner, um, is there, um, I don't know, is there a pool in your, in your workplace, which is something that we talked about yesterday, right? So if you ask your partner, is there a pool in your workplace? And they say yes, there is. So you're gonna you're going to write the answer. They're gonna say um, there is a workplace. Sorry, there is a pool at Fulanito's workplace. Okay, so you're gonna write down the answers. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's the instructions. I'm gonna right now get you to. Um, work in um, pairs. Uh, just give me a second. Let me figure out something. Um, uh, Warner, you are not doubled, right? You just. Oh, right now he's connecting. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. He's doubled. Okay. Um, bye. See? Um, give me one second. Okay, I think I have everybody here. So remember, ask the question, write down the answers. Um, I think, I think, um, I'm gonna give you 12 minutes to do it uh, because you have to ask each other the questions and write them down, okay? So I think, um, yeah, about, so maybe about, you know, six minutes each person will be interviewing and have the questions and writing down the answers. So let's open up the rooms.
Manuel, um, I know you're having trouble with the internet, um, but do you think you can make it? Do you think you can you can go to the other group? Can you hear me? Me escucha, Manuel. No, no me escucha, Manuel. Vaya, voy a, si es posible, métase al, al grupo por donde está asignado. Well, I'm going to write it down. In the branches, the, there aren't in the branches, but in the um, capacitation office, there is one cafeteria. And you work in the capacitation office? No. In a branch? I don't. In a branch. Okay. In a restaurant, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's my turn. Okay. Are there many branches in your company? Yes, there oh, are hello, four. <laughs> yes, there are four branches uh, in the country. Four branches. Perdón, um, Yvonne, que la hablé del otro grupo. <laughs> <laughs> yo dije, estoy sola. Y empecé a cantar yo solita. Oh. Y... <risa> Pero mire, le vino a hacer compañía. Me sí. No, lo que pasa es que eh, su compañero ten, eh, tiene problemas de internet y no pudo conectarse. Entonces, ah. por eso es que la, la lea a Ivonne, no sé si, si, si de repente, ¡pum! <risa> sí, sí. Me, no, no, nos quedamos. Bien, vamos a empezar. Y de repente, <risa> me fui. <risa> It happens, it happens. Yeah. But, okay. All right, well, go ahead and, and continue. Pretend I'm not here. Thank okay. you. Uh, no, there are. No, yeah, okay. Uh, another question, is there a... Supervisor. Female supervisors. Female. Eh. I have female. Uh, is there an emergency exit door in your company? Yeah, yes, there are one exit door. There is one. There is one, yeah. There is one exit emergency door. Okay, and the last one are there security guards in your company? Yeah. There are security guards in, in my company. Okay, yes. There are security guards. Okay. Nice. We're done, teacher. <laughs> he was greeting down and he's sharing the, okay. oh, wow. the page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you. Okay, 
but I, I want um, I want you not to just answer yes, no. I want you to write complete sentences, right? So, um, so yes, there is a blah, blah, blah at, for example, in your case, at Francisco's workplace. Yeah, no, there isn't blah, blah, blah at Francisco's workplace. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, we will try. Uh, for example, here in the number three, Francisco, yes, there is uh, one lounge uh -huh, in the basement. Okay. In the basement. Okay. T at the end. Basement. The basement. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Basement. Basement. Okay. Yes. Basement. basement. I guess it's missing. Uh -huh. I don't remember if duplicated M. Basement. Basement. With e. Ah, basement with E. Yep. Ah, okay. Hi, guys. You finished? Hi. Are you finished? Hi. Hi, Melissa. Are you finished? I can hear you. You can't hear me? No, I just can't read your lips. <laughs> I can hear you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, is it your mic, your, your head, your earphones? Maybe the earphones are the problem. Because I'm not muted. I'm not muted. No? Sorry, no? teacher, I can't hear you. We were okay. using the chat because we were having troubles with the with the uh, audio. Could it be your your earphones, your headsets? No, I, I I was already using this the same headphones when when we were in the main class. So I I don't know why I can hear you. Um, can you hear me, Manuel? Oh, I can't hear him. Um, Manuel? Uh, I don't know what to do. Hello, can you hear us? Um, hi. Uh, according to- Now I can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. We can hear him too. <laughs> Okay. No, yeah. Yeah, we can all hear each other. Yeah. What, what, what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, okay. <laughs> but now you guys can hear each other? Yes. Okay. All right. So continue. Continue. Okay. Uh, um, Manuel, are there any are there any tasting rooms in your company? Eh, hola, me escucha hoy. Yes, I can hear you. Hoy sí. Yes. Bueno. Eh, repeat for please. Are there any tasting rooms in your company? Eh, salas de degustación. <coughs> No, uh, my company is uh, construction. Uh, no, 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 never, no, no, I. There aren't. No, there are not. Okay, and is there a basketball court in your company? No, uh, my my company uh, um, I have not <clears throat> a place. Uh, Hi, Warner. Hi, teacher. What happened? You're all alone. I don't know, teacher. Uh, 
I think the, um, my, how do you say my my partner? Yeah, my partner is a uh, Wi-Fi. Is is um, how do you say? Is disconnected. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, because I was I just noticed that um, you were with somebody before and now you aren't. But were you able to talk and interview each other? Uh, yes, I work the orations. Yeah, I work. Yeah. The questions you were able. Yeah, to... the question. Yes, I, I work the question. This is um. Uh, the question is: There is pull of the work. Um, um, uh, there is a meeting room for the cautious uh, in in your work. Just the arc. I I have a. Uh, they they. They are gyms inside your uh, workplace. There, um, there are or are there? Uh, are there? Sorry, are there? <laughs> yeah, are there's, uh, are there's uh, gyms uh, inside uh, your workplace? Okay. Yes, they, yes, they are. Um, are. Yes, there are. Yes, yes, they are. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, he, um, um, or no, is is uh, are there uh, an out COVID, uh, COVID class? No sé cómo llamarle COVID class for alt uh, teachers in, in the are, in the work. Are there enough what? And no COVID class, COVID class, COVID class. Como cubic cubiculos. Cubicles. Cubicles. Okay. Yes, cubicles. cubicles for our teachers uh, not uh, not uh, the, okay, seria, they are not no no there aren't no they are oh, sorry there not, are. they no, aren't there aren't be careful yeah. with um the word they and and there okay there. So be careful with that okay there there sorry teacher uh, there. It's okay no problem. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Anyways, um, our time is up, so we're going to be going to the main room. Okay. So. Okay, teacher. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we'll see each other in the main room. Yes. Hello, guys. Hey, Wendy. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Wendy, can you see me and hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, guys, so I think everybody is back in the room. Okay, so were you able to interview your classmates and you understand how to ask the questions? Um, yeah? Yeah, miss. Yes. And you were able to write the answer? Remember, complete answer, right? So uh, if you ask, for example, is there a pool in your workplace, you would say, yes, there is a pool. Yes, there is a pool um, in um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to um, pick a, a name in uh, Noemi's um, workplace, for example, or no, there isn't. <coughs> excuse me. No, there isn't a pool at um, Edgar's workplace. OK, got it. Any questions? I guess everybody yesterday we were surprised with the pool <laughs> in this place. <laughs> that uh, would be nice uh -huh, to have a pool. <laughs> I, I agree. I, I would yeah. love to have a pool. That would yeah. be and fun. they have a gym too, you know. Yes, she said. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's really interesting. I, I yeah, I mean not not many places can say that they have a pool and a gym at the workplace. <laughs> That's wonderful. 
Okay, um, okay, guys. Um, um, okay, so let's uh, continue. Um, so today, guys, we're going to be learning quite a few things. So I'm going to start right away with our class. Give me a moment here while I I'll show you the okay um tell me when you can see it yes we can see it okay good so here we have our conversation and the first thing I'm going to do is ask you this question. Do you know where the different rooms, uh, so you, where the different rooms are in your workplace? So I'm sure that at your workplace, there are different rooms in the, the building, right? Um, you know, you may have like uh, different offices, right? For different places, you may have, uh, but you may have other amenities, for example, we could have a cafeteria, yeah? Um, you know, or you, well, there's obviously bathrooms, right? Okay, and, and, and so on. So tell me, what are the, the different um, rooms that exist in your workplace? Tell me about that. Maintenance room? A maintenance room, okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. What else? Electrical room. An electrical. Okay. Interesting. Batter, battery room. A battery room. Uh, battery. What is a battery room? Uh, in, in my work are two containers. <laughs> uh, one is the UPS uh, electrical room. Yeah. In, the other is uh, are there bat battery. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, the battery, like what kind of like battery for what? Repeat, please. What what is the battery for? The battery is for charge the UPS response. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds great. Okay. Good. What other, what other, um, what other place, rooms do you have in your workplace? Meeting rooms. Meeting rooms. Good. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Dining rooms. Dining room? Dining room. Mm, is it a dining room or is it more like a, like a, yeah. sorry? Is it, is it more like a, like a, like an eating area? Yeah. Cafeteria. Like a cafeteria. Um, cafeteria. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What else? Uh, in my uh, company, there is uh, there are specific rooms. Uh, they are I don't remember the name, but those are rooms for mummies. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Uh, they, I, like the lactancia. No sé cómo. Oh, okay, okay. Nursery. Nursery. Ay, those uh, rooms. Nursery. Okay. There's a nursery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. That's nice. That's very, very nice about the moms. Okay. What else? What other rooms exist? Conference room and training room. Conference room and training room. Okay. Good. What else? In my company, we have a showroom. A showroom, very good. Any other rooms? Auditorium. An auditorium, yes. Very yeah. Good. What else? Better rooms. Which one? Better. 
Pepper rum. Pepper, what is that? E C B E R. Server. Yep. All right. Server room. What else? What else? What other rooms do you do you have in your workplace? We have a company. We have tasty rooms. Tasty rooms. Yeah, because oh. we work with liquors, so we need to taste. Uh, some liquors when they when the clients say that it has any problems mm -hmm. and also because we produce national hot liquor so we have to taste it first and then we can produce all the, the package wow i guess melissa's jobs is full, full of volunteers <laughs> Yes, I yeah, know. Very, <laughs> you, you can only be part of the team of, of, of um, catadores. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can only be part if you complete a, a, a degree of that. Oh, really? Yeah. So what, nice. what, are, the, what are the requirements? <laughs> Actually, you need to have a, a very good Appointment. nose and a very good tongue. Sorry? You need to, to have a very good nose and a very good tongue because uh, you have to smell the liquors and you have to taste the liquors and and you can and you you have to be available to feel all the the flavors in the liquor. Yeah, that, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. Um, um, okay. Melissa. There's, there's so many. Erwin, you can. Sorry? Erwin. Tell me. Hello, Francisco. Can test, man. Okay. Um, all right. So, so there are different types of rooms in your in your in your workplace. Those things are what we call amenities, right? Now, do you know where those different rooms are in the workplace? Do you do, can you identify where they are in the workplace? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Now, um, let's take a look here at our conversation between Walter and Mary. Okay. So we have, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. We're going to repeat, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Good morning, good everybody. Oh, sorry, everyone. Good, <laughs> good, morning, good morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce it's a pleasure to introduce, to introduce the new floor safety engineer. The new floor safety, safety engineer. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am Mary. Mary. And I am providing some safety instructions today. And I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget. And then don't forget to wear the earplugs. To wear the earplugs all the time. All the time. It is important. It is, it is important. important not to get close. Not to get, to get close, close to red areas. To red 
Good. Questions about the vocabulary? Uh, I have a doubt in Walter's second part when, when he talks, it says, tell, tell us about that, Miss Mary. I remember you said in the past that when we use uh, this kind of like Mr. or Mrs. or Miss, <laughs> it's commonly used with the last name, but in this case, it's her name, right? Um, yes. Um, I think it's just simply because we're not we're not given a last name, right? But ah, okay. but it should it should actually can be uh, or, or maybe it could be because this is a special character, the mess. <laughs> um, no, no. I mean, it's normally we say with last names. Uh -huh. Um, but. To show respect, we could also um, uh, we could also, uh, especially um, for women, we can like uh, do it with the simply with the name. So in, uh -huh. if you don't know a person's a last, name. last name, but you want to show respect to them, you could mm. you could say Miss blah blah blah. Um, <laughs> not uh, that common, let's say. But ah, okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Anything else? Any other questions you want to ask? Uh, only one one question, teacher. Uh, I don't know, but I feel uh, that presentation so informal uh, because it's the first time that the people uh, see it to Miss Mary and Miss Mary mm, don't say her last name mm, I feel the conversation is so informal yeah I, I agree I I, I I agree um yeah it, it seems to be a little bit informal um you know but but yeah yeah probably the best the best thing would have been to um give a a last name as well right Yes, you're you're absolutely right, um, but you know, the, for the purpose of this activity, we don't have a last name. Okay. If okay. You wanna, if you guys want to give Mary a last name, go ahead. Give her a last name. No. <laughs> okay, but yes, I I yes to introduce Mary with her name. It was Latin because when she say I am Mary, it sounds like I am Ma I'm married. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> similar. Right. I'm married. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just remember that the 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 in this uh, when it's the adjective, it's with ed at the end. Ed, ed. Married. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anything else? Any other questions about vocabulary or um, helmet? Ah. Okay. That's, that's a good question. Uh, okay. All right. A helmet is this. Okay. Earplugs. Okay. Earplugs are little devices that go inside of your ears, and what they do is um, they um, they they make the, they deaden the sound from the exterior so that it doesn't damage your ears. So the noise is, the noise from the exterior is reduced so that you're, you don't damage your ears. Okay? That's the, those are earplugs. Okay? So earplugs are used um, in workplaces that are have a very noisy environment, um, like in construction, for example, you would use earplugs because there's so much noise in construction. Also, you might use earplugs, for example, I personally use earplugs to sleep. <coughs> okay, so that's another use that you could give for earplugs, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, we understand earplugs? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
Good. Yes. Anything else? Any other words that you don't want, you don't know, or you want to know the pronunciation of them? Teacher, providing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. Uh, providing means uh, give, right? Or provide is to give. Or very similar to Spanish. Proveer, right? Okay. So providing. I am providing some safety instructions today. All right. Hey, Chair. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the meaning of helmet? Helmet is mm -hmm. this. Thank you. Uh -huh. You see what I'm pointing to, right? No. No, you don't. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah. You sure? You sure you can see it? So this right here. Okay, that's okay. So Thank you, you. You can you can use a helmet for like uh, for work, or you can also use a helmet for sports, like uh, like hockey, for example. Hockey uses when you're playing hockey, you use a helmet. Also, um, sock, uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so Marvin has an example of a helmet. Mm -hmm. There is, there is uh, Marvin's helmet. Thank you, Marvin. Yeah, okay, there you go, Realia. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so like I said, you can also use it for sports, right? Different sports like, uh, um, also like, uh, Football, football um, uses a sport, um, uses helmets. Um, baseball uses helmets as well. When people uh, is bicy in, in in a bicycle, a when you ride a bike, yeah, motor my, motorcyclists, motorcycles too. Yeah, motorcyclists also wear helmets. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. <coughs> All right, guys. Let's go into our, our pairs and um, let's start. Um, let's start. Comp uh, sorry. Um, uh, sharing sharing your, your your answers or sorry. Uh, share um, reading out the conversation. Okay, um, so let me get you guys to work in, in the same partner you worked before. Ju I'm just going to, oh, just give me a second. No, I'm going to have to make a new group. Just give me a second. Um, Give me one second. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to give you, I'm not going to give you very much time because it's only reading, right? So uh, remember, practice not only reading, but pronunciation and fluency. So try to make it as fluent as possible. And guys, if you, if your partner is having trouble with a word, help them out, right? So um, if they don't understand a word, like how to pronounce it, you know, help them out, uh, you know, help each other out. That's the idea. Working in pairs, guys, is precisely about that, right? To help each other, so that you guys can get better, 
right? So what you don't know, your partner will know. What your partner um, knows, you may not know. So you guys can help each other out. Also, um, you know, try if you are you see that your partner is um, if sorry if your partner corrects you, don't feel bad. You know, that's what you're there for, right? To help each other out. Okay, so um, remember that you don't just learn from the teacher, you learn also from your classmates, right? So it's important to help each other out. Okay, so right now I'm gonna open up the rooms. I'm gonna give you only about four minutes to practice. Okay, so here we go. Hello, Manuel. Is your is your Wi-Fi uh, better? Is your internet better? Hi, teacher. Eh, pues en el teléfono me acabo de conectar ahorita. No, en el teléfono sí me. Okay, va, está bien. Lo voy a mandar ahorita a, a un grupo. Okay. Oh, hasta teacher, sí, aquí me. Bueno. Me, es que me pasé el teléfono a la computadora, pero no, en la computadora no, como que no tengo mucha, no me funciona muy bien, creo yo, pero eh, aquí uh, me quedo con el teléfono mejor. Ok, sí, y me parece súper bien porque sí. se me oye bien y se oye bien. Okay. Sí, así es. Ok, okay gracias, so teacher. I'm going to send you right now to um, a group, ok? Ok, Here. perfecto. Fabiola, can you hear me? Fabiola? Fabiola? Fabiola, can you hear me? Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety manage engineer. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary, and I'm providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Wipe between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not, not to get close to red areas. Okay. Red areas are very dangerous. <laughs> Okay, you Walter. Hey, teacher. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it is a pleasure to introduce a new floor of Adrian in junior. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am provide some safer instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, while between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It's important not to get close to red areas. Teach it. Okay. Areas is correct. Areas. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. This. Yo lo veo que está. Ese es el baño. Ese es el baño. Los baños. ¿Dónde yeah. están los baños? Um, guys, ¿qué están haciendo ahorita? Uh, teacher, a las... No sé si son la, es el, las preguntas, las... Uh, Just read the conversation. Ah, okay. okay. Only read. Only read. Don't worry okay, about okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. 
Um, I am Walter. Okay, Walter and, and me, Mary, okay? Yes. Uh, Chang. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Yes, it is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safari engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. We are a helmet all the time. Walk be between uh, the yellow lines and don't forget to, to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get uh, close uh, to Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Hola, Fabiola. ¿Qué pasó, Fabiola? I don't have a problem, teacher. <laughs> you don't have a problem? Uh, I have a problem. Oh, you have a problem? Yes. Yeah, I was. Application. I don't oh, know. okay. Yeah, I was talking to you, and then, and then you left, and, <laughs> and then I don't know what happened to you, but okay. Well, all right. Um, okay, guys. So what we're gonna move on now. Now that you guys have had the opportunity of practicing the conversation, we're gonna actually look at the places. In, a, in, the, um, in the facility, right? Or like we talked about the amenities. So tell me if you can see this. Everybody can see that? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So let's talk about this. Places in a facility. Um, so here we have these different places. Okay. So we have the production area. Now, be careful how do you pronounce this? This is not production, it's production. Prada ah, ah, ah. Okay, production. Can you repeat this after me? Production area. Production area. Production area. Okay, good. Then we have the reception area. Reception, reception area. Reception area. Mm -hmm. Good. Then we have the planning area. <laughs> planning. Planning. planning area. Okay. Then we have the manager of the monitor of the manager office. Mm -hmm. Good. The auditor office auditor, auditor, auditor office. office so the, uh, be careful with this pronunciation it's not au it's not auditor it's auditor 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 when you have the auditor. a and the u together we don't say au it's not usually au it's more au it's like August, right? You don't say August, it's August. Audit. Auditor. 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 Like audio, not audio. It's audio. 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 Then we have quality control. Quality, quality control. control. Good. We have restrooms. 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 <laughs> and exit. 
Exit. Exit. Exit. Parking. 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 Okay. Now, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the letter and I want you to tell me, or better said, no, let's do it like this way. I'm going to point to a place and you're going to tell me what this is. Okay. All right. What is this? Manager office. Good. That's the manager. Manager office. Good. Can you see this or is it very, very small? Bueno, aunque, aunque está en el manual suyo. So, you should be able to see it. If you can't see it on the screen, uh, in, in my screen, you can look at it up in your, your digital book. Okay. Uh, what is this? Reception. Reception area. Yeah, this is the reception area. What is this? Quality control. 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 Quality control. Quality control. What is this? Restroom. 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 What is this? Auditor office. Auditor office. Auditor. Auditor office. Auditor. Production area. Production area. Production. Excellent. Production. Exit. 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 What's this? Planning area. Planning area. Planning area. 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 And what's this? Parking. 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 Very good. Parking. Excellent. Parking. Now, there is some vocabulary. Um, I'm, just give me a moment. You know what? I'm going to rain. I'm going to stop presenting for a moment because I want to take attendance. Oh. Um, so just give me a second. Okay. So let me take again the attendance. We have Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Andres Giovanni. Andres Giovanni? No. Okay. Uh, Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Great. Fabiola. Present teacher. Excellent. Francisco Javier. Present. Excellent. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Great. Um, Present. Excellent. Uh, Josué Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. <laughs> Not here. Okay. Um, we have Carla. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Melissa? Present teacher. Excellent. Ernesto? Present teacher. All right. Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Excellent. Manuel de Jesus? Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. Marvin? Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Noemi. Present. All right. And the Bon. Present. Okay. Good. Excellent. Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, no. Marlene. Marlene, no. Eh, Ricardo. Ricardo. Okay. All right. Okay, so I do not have Andres Giovanni. 
I don't have Juan Francisco. I don't have um, Jorge Alberto. I don't have Marlene and I don't have Ricardo, right? Okay, all right, perfect. Let's continue then. Um, let's move on to the next part, guys. Okay, so now, Okay, so now let's learn some vocabulary. Okay. Um, so vocabulary that is going to be very useful for you in this next activity is, we're going to learn, oh. Give me a momentito. No. Give me just one moment. Give me one second, guys. Oh God, hold on, just give me a second. I'm trying to figure out this. They got mixed up. Se me, se me confundieron aquí los, los, um, los slides, los, los dispositivos. No, ¿Cómo se llama la dispositiva? Um, Hmm. Okay, I'll take it this one. Okay. All right. Um, so oh, I see. Sorry guys about the confusion there. Let me start presenting now. Okay. So here is our vocabulary that we're going to be using today. We have next to, next to is similar to beside. Okay. Do we understand the word next to and beside? Yes? Yes. Yes. So, um, If I have, okay, I have two staplers here, okay? And I'm going to put this stapler next to this stapler, okay? So we have, they are beside, okay? Next to and beside are pretty much the same kind of, the same, uh, they're synonyms, okay? So next to and beside. Okay. Okay? In front of, do we understand the word in front of? Yeah? For yeah, example, yes. It, it means like, for example, I have the camera in front of me, right? That's why uh, you can see me directly. So I'm not over here, 
right? I'm, the camera is right in front of me, okay? Then we have behind, which is in the back. So for example, behind me, you can probably see my dining table, okay? Or your cat. Is my cat there? No, my cat's not here. Not today. <laughs> sometimes she is. No, sometimes she is, but not today. But uh, yeah, exactly. Sometimes you see my, my cat behind me. Yeah, you're right. Okay. And then we have across from. Okay. Across from means on the other side. Uh, for example, um, across from my house, there is a two uh, a two story house two story means that um, there is one floor and then a second floor okay so in um, so it's similar to in front of but it's um, across from means on the other side so uh, they're usually like for example in this case um, across from my house means that on the other side of the street. So there is a street that divides us and then it's on the other side. Okay, sounds good? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And then we have between. So between means in the middle, right? Okay. Um, you know, if I, if I have my, my two staplers, and I have, um, I don't know. I have the masking tape in the middle. Okay, so it's, it's right in between, right in between. Okay. All right, and then we have in the corner, which is pretty, pretty basic, right? It's just where the, the two walls meet. For example, if you notice in my, in my house, in the corner, there are, there, is, uh, there are some flowers. You see that in the corner? Right, there are some flowers. Yes. Okay, all right, so what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is the following. All right, so here we have some questions that I'm gonna ask you to work with your partner and discuss. So, you, you, you are at the parking and you have these questions. Where are the restrooms? Where is quality control? Where is the manager office? And where is the exit? So you can use um, these, this vocabulary to identify the different places where they are, okay? And you can also say, for example, uh, another way you can do this is ask, for example, where is the, um, where is the, let's see, where is the manager off the manager office? It's in front of the production area, right? It's in front of the production area. Or where is, so or you can say, for example, it's next to the auditor office. Okay, you got it? Yes, teacher. Questions? Okay. So you're gonna ask these questions and then you can ask other questions too, using this vocabulary over here and this vocabulary here. Okay, any questions at this moment? And what happened if I, I have um, a wall between one side and other? A wall? Um, you could still say... Um, Next to? Um, Sorry? Could be, but um, it depends. It really depends on your perspective, right? Could be next to or in front of or behind. Right. Okay. But remember, do, do remember that according to this, you are in the parking. The parking is here. Okay. 
So your perspective is from here. Got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so to give you an example, Francisco, where is, where is, what is, sorry. Um, okay. So if I ask you, for example, where is the, um, where is the quality control? Okay, the, in front of the exit. Okay, it's in front of the exit. Okay, um, good. Yeah, um, although, hmm, yeah. Yeah, it could be in front of, mm -hmm. yeah. Good, mm -hmm. good, excellent. All right, so let's go ahead and make you guys um, small groups and discuss these questions. Um, so. Let's, um, I, I will, I will put you guys in the same group if that's okay. Or do you want to change? New group, new partner? No, okay. it's okay. I think it's okay because you only worked very a very short time with your with the partner, so that'll be okay. Okay, so again, I'm gonna give you uh, not that much um, amount of time. I'll give you five minutes. Sounds good. And I think that five minutes you are able to answer those questions. Okay. Or actually, I'll give you six. Just, just give you the extra minute. Okay, so let's um. Open the rooms. Manuel de Jesus, Wendy. Uh, Wendy, uh, usted no tiene audio en su teléfono. Manuel de Jesús me oye. Manuel de Jesús, no. No, no tiene audio de teléfono, Wendy. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Vale, pero sí puede usar el chat, entonces. Vale, porque lo que voy a hacer es que la voy... Ok. Vayas al grupo que le ha asignado. Ok. Ok, Wendy. Uh, bueno. Um, Vayas un rato ahí al grupo um, que le ha asignado y por lo menos um, trate de comunicarse con ellos con el chat. Ok. Okay, thank you.
And where is the exit? Mm -hmm. uh, to our left in reception area and go straight. This way is not in the vocabulary. Ah, bien, bien. Right now, try to use the vocabulary that we have. So just uh, the preposition of place, not directions. No le di, no, no le di dirección todavía. So no, ubique donde están. Mm, okay. 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 Uh, then... Stress room is next to to, to manager office, right? Okay. Uh, quality control is behind planning area. And manager office, manager office is between uh, auditor office and restroom and exit is next to quality control. Okay. Where are the restroom? Mm -hmm. There are next to manager office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what is quality control? Um, quality control um, is across. <gasps> Surprise! <laughs> The restrooms are there <laughs> in front or beside? Restrooms are restroom G beside the manager office. G, okay. Beside manager office. And the quality control. In front. Very controlled if 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 is in front of planning area. Planning area. Okay. And the manager office. The manager office. Is where? The between between the uh auditor. I don't know. I stand next to quality. Next to quality. Uh, in right. front to uh, next to quality in front to planning area two. Okay, good. It's in front of. In front of. Okay. In front of. Okay. Uh, very good. I. All right, welcome back, guys. All right, so were you able to use the um, vocabulary there to describe the different places, right? So we used in front of, beside, behind, across from, um, between. 
Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, we were able. Okay, good. All right. Okay, excellent. Now, so that's a little bit describing the location of the places. But what about if we want to describe not the location, but the direction, how to get to the place? Well, that's what we're going to see right now. So um, please tell me if you can see this. Give me a moment. Yeah, everybody can see this, right? Yes, we see. Okay, good. Oh, hold on. Oops. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. All right, there we go. Oh. Okay. okay, so, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to learn how to give directions, okay? So we're not just describing the physical place of, um, of a place in a facility, but we're now we're gonna give directions. So vocabulary that we're gonna be using, Go straight. Go straight means directly in front. Okay. Like when you say in Spanish. What do you say in Spanish? Al frente. Mm -hmm. No. Recto. Directo. Recto. Ah, recto. Good. Means when do you use go straight ahead? Um, it, it's just it's the same thing. Go straight or go straight ahead means um. The, the the go straight ahead means like um direct um directo or uh enfrente like you know like yeah that's what it means it's just emphasizing but they're the same thing okay so they're just it's just another way of emphasizing that it's straight that's yeah okay um turn left turn right. So my right is this, although you probably are seeing it as left. But for me, this is my right. So turn right, okay, go this way. Turn left means the other way, go this way. Okay, because this is my left, go this way. Okay. So if you want to remember like left, Oh, but it said, yeah, left, which is this side for me, is the part where your heart is. Okay, your heart is on your left. Okay, so, so the left, the left is. Okay, another one is walk 10 meters. Walk. And then we can say 10 meters or 5 meters or 100 meters, et cetera, et cetera. But remember, this is meters not meters it's meters meters okay any questions okay then we have walk through the production area example walk through the production area which means um that you're going to you, it doesn't have to be area it can be any other it can be walk through the the parking the parking lot now walk through means to walk from one place to the other place so from one side to the other side let's walk through who wants pizza who wants pizza No, Wait, it's okay, or, or we're fine. Yes, teacher. Uh, the correct pro pronounced 
True. Through. 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 Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. So this is the, the picture that we had before, right? So this is the uh, facility. And what we're going to do is we're going to be working with a partner and you're going to says, says here, you are the park, you are at the parking and you are visiting Rex facilities. Okay, so you again, we're here at the parking. And you're going to be your questions are the following. How can I get to the auditor office. So now we're going to be giving directions, not just asking where it is, but giving the directions. Okay. How can I get to the quality control department? How can I get to the planning area? How can I get to the restrooms? So we're here and now I want you to give directions to your partner. And you, could, you don't have to limit yourself to these places. You can ask, for example, how can I get to the um, the production area. How can I get to the reception area, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can ask about these things, the, the different things here. Okay. And I also want you with your partner and to answer the question, the following questions. We have a how many areas are there in Rex facilities? Is there a financial office in these facilities? How many quality control offices are there? Is there an auditor office? Okay, so I want you to discuss these questions uh, with um, a small group. Okay, so we're going to create a group, small group, and you're going to be answering these questions using now this vocabulary. Sounds good? So far, so good? Yeah, Miss. Yeah? Any yes. questions? All right. So let's create our groups. Um, this time, I'm going to give you about 10 minutes because there are quite, quite a few questions. And um, We get you into groups of three or four. Just give me one second. Um, okay, just one second here. Okay. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm going to open it up. Join your groups. Okay. Um, oh, you don't have. A yeah, Wendy doesn't have a microphone or a camera right now, so she's going to be communicating with you guys through chat. Okay, is that okay? Okay. All right. Okay. okay. So, Manuel, how can I get to the auditor office? Auditor office. Yeah. Uh, the auditor office 
is is worry uh, is um, um, left of planning area. Left. Uh -huh. Left. Left. Mm. Is that a set? That you can see it? Fresh. Is that, but I, I don't have a lot of um, questions. Okay. The first question is, where are the restrooms, right? Uh, it's the it's the the question that I said. No, uh, it's, I mean, is the the, okay. the first one is how can I get to out of the office? No. Yeah. You. Ah, uh, it's a, exercise number five. I don't know. In, in the book. Yes. Where? Yes, in the book. Uh, exercise number four uh, said you are in the parking and you have uh, these questions. Oh, yeah. It's that. Where the restroom? No, oh, it's, it's, it's the last. Last. Or, or I don't know if the exercise number five, I think, is number four, but I, I don't know. Is it's, it's hey, yeah, it's, it's that is number five. Is how can I get uh, auditory, uh, auditor office? auditor office? Auditor office, okay. Auditor office, auditor office, okay. Do you have. Um, si está en el parking y la oficina del auditor es la E, significa que, no sé dónde está la E, es la que está en la otra esquina, arriba de la D. Yes. Try to do okay. it in English, remember. <laughs> ok, ok, teacher. Um, maybe a word. <coughs> Walk through walk through the production and <laughs> Any questions, girls? No. No? no. Okay, next question. How can I get to the quality control department? How can I get to quality control? How can I get to... Okay, so Wendy said, uh, um, maybe next to exit? Oh, I didn't get it, Wendy. Turn left. Turn left to the planning area. Turn left to the planning area. Turn left to go straight planning area. And and the, and the quality control is right in front of the planning area. In front of.
constrain the reception area and walk from, from the production area. The production area. And you will find and it at the end. Dice en la traducción, pero no sé si se, así sería. O solo le ponemos and finally. No, porque sería y finalmente. Mm -mm. And you area. will find uh, it at the end. And mm. in the reception area. Teacher. What from production <laughs> area? Uh, I, I we uh, write the next form. Go straight to the reception area and walk through the production area. Turn right to the end. Is correct. Sure. Yeah, that can work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And walk through the reception. I'm still in the reception area. And walk from the production area. You can walk through the production area turn, and turn turn right turn right and to right and then turn right turn, turn right, right and then turn right in the end girar a la derecha al final I get to the planning area I guess it will be similar to this one no, the first go is where we live. How oh, can I, <laughs> yes. but the one besides says, how can I get to the planning area? No, uh, arriba. No, sorry. How? Uh, planning area. Uh -huh, almost the, the same, area. the last one. Uh -huh, almost the same. So Here. walk 10 meters. Walk 10 meters. To the axis and turn to, lo mismo, turn left, turn left and go straight. It's in front of the quality. <laughs> okay, it's the same. Production. Uh huh. Yes, because it's asking pure, the planning I, I, area. Oh, it's in front. No, no, no. So I can. La. Here is QR production. Yes. Ah, okay. Um, here is the door of planning. Planning, okay. I think we have to wall here, turn left, turn, not turn right, turn right, and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Como ir a la vuelta. Si es que acá hay algo, ¿no? Y si hay una puerta enfrente del cual es. <laughs> here. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, no, let, let's do it. Eso sería walk 10 meters to the, the exit. exit. Uh -huh. Exit. Teacher, how do you say pasillo? I don't remember. Hallway. Can Would you, you please spell it? Sure. There you go. Ah, uh, hallway. I see you. I can see. You want the Luis that we use hallway? Walk yes. Ten meters. Okay. We can walk uh, straight. Uh, no, through hallway. Walk through the hallway. Ah. Uh -huh. And walk. Walk through the hallway. Um, turn. turn left, uh, right, turn right. Turn, turn, mm -hmm. turn right. After mm -hmm. turn right. Ah, ahí está ya la, la, la teacher por la, la pregunta de cómo, 
a unir las, las tres indicaciones. Uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, hay una, un, una pregunta uh, cuando contestamos. Uh, adelante, Marvin. Uh -huh. Sí, teacher, para unir la, la oración, en este caso pusimos work through the production area y para unirla con girar a la derecha al final podemos usar after to turn right in the end um, after turn right what, what do you mean turn right to the end uh, girar a la derecha um. al final mm -hmm. refiriéndonos al, al área de producción Uh, pero dile, dile desde el principio. Ok. Dile desde el principio para que nos entienda. Ok. Go straight to the to reception area and walk through the production area after the right in the end. Uh, turn right. Right. Turn right. Mm -hmm. At the end of the room, maybe. Ah. The room. Mm -hmm. it, it would be better to add that. Because if you say at the end, at the end of what? At the end of the So it would be better to say at the end of the room. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Any other questions? Okay. You guys finished? No. No. One. <laughs> number One number two. Uh, number how two. can I get to the quality control department? Quality, quality control, control if. if letter if. Okay. Uh, Celia. Uh, uh, go straight. Yeah, to reception. The reception. Hi, Melissa. Hello, Lauren. What happened? I don't know where my classmates are. I just noticed you are by yourself. ¿Qué pasó? Nunca estuvo con nadie. No, sí, pero de repente Wendy se desconectó y luego Manuel se fue y me quedé solo. We were practicing and, and, and uh -huh. then I think he disconnect or have some, he has some problem with the connection or I don't know. And oh. I was alone. Yeah, and, and Wendy was having a little bit of trouble because she was not with her Wi-Fi. She was with, um, she was with um, data. So I think maybe she ran out of it. Yeah, but I, I came because I just noticed oh, that maybe. you were by yourself. Okay, um, <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're we're almost finished. So, um, let me let's okay. see you back in the main room. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, there's your partner. Yeah. What happened, Manuel? You were having problems? Uh, I am internet a uh, failure. Oh, okay. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys.
Uh, first of all, let me tell you something. I was very happy to see the groups helping each other. I know some of you didn't finish, but that's okay because what I what I really wanted you guys to do is work together as a group. And I could see um, so many groups working together and trying to figure out, and somebody would say this, and then the other person would say that. And then together, you came up with the idea, which is wonderful. That's perfect. And that's what you should do. Uh, remember, it's super, super important for you to not just practice your English, but also work with other people and um, you know help each other out, right? Because um, nobody is no nobody knows everything, right? So um, you that's why it's important to be able to cooperate, right? And, you, and um, help each other and and put it together. And and I, I I really enjoyed listening to you guys because when you were in your groups, I could hear um, you know one person saying, "Oh, what about this answer?" And then the other said, no, you know, and you would discuss and that's good. That's, that's, that's what we do in real life. In real life, we talk to each other, we give ideas and we say, yes, I like that idea or no, that doesn't sound so good. How about if we try this, which is what you want to do, right? In reality, or better said, in our real life, and we want to use our English for our everyday life and that's what you're going to be doing you're not just going to be talking like standard like this blah 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 right it's actually also a little bit of a debate which is good so i'm glad to hear that i was glad to see that happening okay guys um so let's share um Okay, so first of all, first question, how can I get to the auditor office, Melissa? Okay. Um, go to the, walk to the reception and then turn right, go straight and at the end of the, the way you will find the auditor's office. All right, sounds good. All right, very good. Um, you said at the end of the way, could be. Um, I would probably go with the, at the end of the room, right? Because it's a big room. So at the end right. of the room, okay, turn right. Mm -hmm. Sounds very good. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Um, how about if uh, we'll have Josue Alberto help me with this one? How can I get to the quality control department? Uh, quality control. Uh, go to the reception area, turn left, and through walk through the production area, turn left, and uh, the the quality control is in front the planning area. Wonderful. Very good. That's wonderful. So you combined a little bit of both vocabulary, right? So vocabulary about giving directions and vocabulary about um, about uh, propositions of place. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Um, Luis, Mr. help me with this one. How can I get to the planning area? Okay, teacher. Uh, go to the reception area, walk well, 10 meters and go to the reception area mm -hmm. and turn left. Um, there is in front, no, it is in front of production area. In front of the production area. Okay. Thank you. It's so funny teacher, because in that point, uh, the three of us, we realized we were getting inside the building from the exit. We didn't realize the reception. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And we yeah. were trying, we were fighting how to. At, at the last one, we, we uh, watch it. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to go through the exit, right? You want to go yes. through Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, sounds good. Okay, last question. Uh, Manuel, help me out. Manuel uh, de Jesus, help me out with number four. How can I get to the restrooms? Um. Uh, go strike. Okay. Uh, strike. Uh, to the right. Okay. Uh, it work. Uh, and. Bueno, siempre es recto a la derecha. Uh -huh, but in English. They work a uh, and and the and the uh, what was right a uh, the planning area a uh, go strike in production area he to write um, he, uh, to write. Okay, so from what I hear, Manuel, you are also coming from the exit, right? You're coming from the exit, you over here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, del parqueo. Uh-huh. Parking, yeah, and um, work planning area. So you're 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 here, right? But um, if you want to get into the building, the best way to get into what? the building is through the reception area, which would be over here, yeah. right? Uh, but from what I hear. You were going through this way, through the exit, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm planning. I mean, uh, it's not incorrect. I mean, you could go through the exit. It's going to be a little more difficult for someone to open the door of the exit, but you can go through it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. Um, okay, and the next questions we have. All right, how many areas are there in Rex facility? Oops, sorry, Rex facilities. Um, let me ask um, Francisco. Help me out with this one. How many areas are there? Nine areas. Nine areas. There are, there are nine areas. There are nine areas. Very good. And I loved how, how you made the, the complete sentence. Correct. Very good. Next question, Fabiola. Is there a financial office in these facilities? There is a uh, financial area. There isn't a financial area in this facility. Okay. All right, next. Uh, how many quality control offices are there? Um, Noemi. Noemi? Excuse me. There are three uh, quality control offices. Very good. All right. And last question. Is there an auditor office? Um, let's see who can help me with this one. Um, how about uh, Yvonne? Um, 
Yes, there is an auditor office. Very good. Bravo, guys. Excellent. Okay. Um, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is, uh, this is actually going to be something I need you guys to do for homework, uh, which is this. Okay, so um, these are some safety instructions. For example, um, wear a helmet at all times, walk between the yellow lines, don't touch any machine, wear the earplugs at all time, wear industrial boots, don't get close to red areas. Do we understand this vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Okay. I think we've talked about many of these this vocabulary. Now, if you notice, the, the instructions are in a form of imperative. We've already studied this, right? Imperative is when you don't have a, uh, a subject and only the verb in the base form. So you say, wear, not you wear. He says, walk, not you walk. You say, wear the earplugs, not you wear the earplugs. Wear the industrial boots, not you wear industrial boots. And in the negative, we use don't at the beginning. Don't touch, don't get, okay? So what I'm gonna ask you to do for homework is this. We got a group, a group of visitors is coming to Rex facilities. Explain to them the set of basic rules and safety instructions for visitors in a courteous way, okay? So you're gonna create five safety instructions using this as an example. So not not these ones, different ones. Okay? Got it? Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So that's gonna be all for today. Um just um if you can uh let me see if this I need to open a moment. All right, so today is um it's um, Haiti, Haiti's turn. No, 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 sorry, sorry, not Haiti. Um, it's Irene's, Irene's turn. So Irene. Hello. Are you going, are you going to be staying today for the, for the five, the, the 10 minutes of um, tutoring, tutoring class? Yes. Perfect. Okay, in that case, guys, that's it. I will see you guys next class, which is tomorrow, the last day of our week. Okay, so take care and have a wonderful, beautiful evening, night, sleep. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank, 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. See, see you. Any questions, Carla? No? Okay. Okay. So, Irene. Okay. okay. I need your help about my homework. Okay. I'm going to share right now this exercise because I, I don't know why is wrong. Okay, I'll tell you what's, what's there. There's a, um, there's a problem there with the, um, the answer number two. No, it says, notice it says there, there is one, one. Uh -huh. Now, because it's one, it cannot be plural. Okay, so there is one what? Okay, there, uh, uh, there are offices. Porque aquí, there is one offices. Está incorrecto, tendría que ser there are offices, porque offices está en plural. Yes, but if you, um, if you do that, you have to do a lot of change. So the best way to do it is keep the there is one, but just make the office singular. Okay, okay, okay. No. There is offices in San Miguel. No, 
Keep the ah because I means one. Oh, sorry, the one. Okay, keep the one. Okay, but how do you make offices singular? Okay. okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. 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 Good. There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sí, está bien, me parece. There are three distribution centers in your phone. Uh -huh. Okay, try it. Okay, vamos a ver. No, no, no. Oh, 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 no. Uh, three. Yes, okay. I guess, uh -huh. Okay, um, okay. De vuelta, se lo voy a explicar en español. Okay. Eh, la plataforma está configurada para recibir ciertas respuestas. En ese ejercicio, la mayoría de los ejercicios se ha configurado para que hayan dos respuestas. La respuesta completa y la respuesta corta, que solamente es de una palabra la que va a cambiar. Pero en el ejercicio 3 no se ha configurado para que, no, no lo han configurado para que reciba la progresión completa. Solo debe poner la, el, la, la palabra. There are, ok, there are. No, just one word. One word. Only one word. The word you need to change. What is the word that you need are, to change? Are. Ok. Are. Yes. Ok. Ok. There is a news office. I think that is singular because, but I, I don't know, because news is nuevas. News, no, no, news, news. Uh, yes. Um, in this case, we're talking about the, uh, yeah, the nuevo, right? So, because it's only one, it has to be there is a a new of news, uh -huh. new, okay. And the reason is because in English we never make adjectives plural, okay. So adjectives in English do not have a singular and plural form. It's different in Spanish. In Spanish, we do right. You say, for example. Ellos, um, hay tres hombres altos, right? We put an S at the end to make us plural. But in English, we don't. In English, we don't do that. Um, in English, the, the, the adjective is never going to have a singular and plural. Okay. There aren't person to work. Person is singular. Entonces sería is. Because oh, it's easier. Okay. Acuérdense, a tratar de hacer el cambio de la forma más fácil. And the uh -huh. easiest form is because it says there are, which is plural. Try to make person plural. Person. What is the plural form of person? Okay, and then there is not people to work. No, not there is because it's it's plural. There is a singular. A people is plural, entiendo yo, y person is singular. Entonces, si es singular, es uno, tendría que ser is. No, because people is plural. So keep it plural. Entonces tendría que cambiar person, no, o sea, tendría que ser there are not people to work. Okay. Remember, don't forget the not. 
And um, there's a, a period, I forgot the period. Uh, and maybe the capital letter too. But you forgot the period. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So much. I did help. You're welcome. Anything else you want to ask about? Only that, only that, uh, I'm trying to get a lot of information of the classes and I'm working right now uh, in all the homework. I'm avanzar. How can I say avanzar? Getting ahead. I'm, I'm getting ahead right now in my homework. And um, only that. Okay, good. Excellent, Irene. Sounds good. Okay, well, I think you're you're on the right path. I think everything sounds looks good. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much, Irene. Okay. Um, so yeah, eh, yo creo que ya casi está al ya casi está a la o sea, eh, where you're supposed to be, right? So. You're, yes. you're almost caught up. Yes. Good for you. Thank you very much, Irene. I appreciate it. Yes. Okay. So I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Okay. See you. See you too tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, Take care. good night. Good night.